So it looks like the saga over at Good Morning America 3 involving Amy Robach and TJ Holmes is far from over. Now the Daily Mail is reporting that TJ didn't just have an affair with a GMA producer, but he may have had an affair with a lot younger woman over at ABC a few years ago, allegedly. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So we've been talking about this Amy Robach and TJ Holmes story for several weeks now, a couple of months, and the two have been pulled off the air. The last time that we reported on the story, we said to you, it was almost official that TJ and Amy would not be returning. And they both enlisted separate attorneys to fight this. And they were going to bring up the issue of race against ABC News. We also reported to you that ABC News has been inv investigating the situation to ensure that no company policies were violated. I also told you a few videos ago that allegedly they were also investigating TJ mostly to ensure that, according to rumors, there were other affairs, not just this affair with a GMA producer and with Amy Robach. Well, now, according to the Daily Mail, they're alleging that he had another office affair back in 2015. So as per usual, we'll be citing our sources here on the channel along with the Daily Mail exclusive. We'll be reading from the Fox News report on this. They write this. TJ Holmes, the embattled co-host of GMA3, who has been sidelined over his extramarital affair with on-air colleague Amy Robach, is now being accused of having a separate affair with an ABC News employee. This one being a younger staffer. So as I said to you before, the Daily Mail first reported that Holmes had seduced, this is a quote, a script coordinator, 13 years his junior, according to an anonymous, quote, well-placed source. Her? Okay. The affair with the staffer identified as a then 24-year-old Jasmine Petaway reportedly began in 2015, well into Holmes' marriage, which is now reportedly on the rocks, as you know, we also reported that T.J. Holmes has officially filed for divorce from Marley Figbake. So they continue. They says, and this is a quote, it was Jasmine's first real job in television, and it was a big deal for her. She was looking for a mentor, and she reached out to several people. T.J. was someone who was responsive, but he absolutely abused the position of trust, the source told the Daily Mail. Holmes was someone who would grab drinks, and he and Jasmine started to doing that. You must remember, he was a correspondent at the time, and he's taking time to speak to her about work or whatever. They continue, this is the source alleged that Holmes and Petaway had sex in his office a couple of hours before he was, he was set to go on air. This is what they said in the quote. They had sex, and I know she was confused afterwards as to what it meant. That kind of, did that just really happen feeling. I mean, that's pretty risky behavior on his, his part. The Daily Mail noted other allegations, other female subordinates, in addition with Petaway, that were leveled against Holmes, including a, quote, young network intern who was, quote, stressed and, quote, freaked out by his unwanted advances. The outlet also previously reported on Holmes' alleged three-year affair with Good Morning America producer Natasha Singh that began in 2016, which subsequently ended her marriage. ABC News did not respond to Fox's uh, request for comment. Holmes and Roebuck, as you know, they've been photographed recently vacationing with each other, you know, down south and showing real unity and PDA everywhere that they can. All right. You also may recall the Daily Mail was the first people to expose their affair. They continue. Robach, as you already know, was married to former Melrose Place star Andrew Shu. They were recently photographed together, exchanged. I guess they have a dog together. That's the bad thing. Even when you don't have kids and you have pets together, you have to do that whole let's meet in the park and, ex and ex exchange custody. Oh, Andrew. 
So as you know, uh, Mara Lee Figbig, the estranged wife of Holmes, is represented by her divorce attorney, Stephanie Lehman, who told Fox News Digital earlier this month that they hope to finalize things amicably as possible. She also said to the Daily Mail in that statement that they're not happy with his the way that he's handling this situation when it comes to the divorce and his relationship with Amy Robach, who at one point, Mara Lee Figbig, on social media, says that she was a part of her sisterhood, her sister circle. Her daughter even took care of their daughter. They continue. They said the two GMA hosts were pulled off the air, as you know, pending an internal investigation. Holmes and Robach have reportedly lawyered up as a possibility of a nasty legal battle with the Disney Network lingers as their bosses determine whether or not both of them are terminated. An insider, though, told the New York Post that Robot could remain at the network, but not on GMA3. And a lot of us speculated that for a while now. We, a lot of us assumed that Amy Robach would return to GMA3, but not both of them. And part of the reasoning was because we were hearing more rumors that TJ Holmes had multiple affairs, allegedly, with people at ABC News. And apparently there was a rumor years ago that back in 2017 that that Amy and TJ were having an affair. So much so that Robin Roberts brought it to their attention. And TJ went to the higher ups and was like, this is not true. This is not happening. Amy, I wish you all luck because I don't know how you guys have a relationship. I said this before. I don't know how I don't know how you have a relationship with someone that's not trustworthy. You're not trustworthy and he's not trustworthy. Good luck. Guys, as always, I want to know your reaction to another update in regards to this story. I cannot believe the amount of videos that we've done on this, but more and more continues to come out. Let's continue this conversation in the comment section. And as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.